So on the back of this pot here, you've got the pilot valve, you've got the positive air that I mentioned. This is identified by being red, red hose, res fit, red fitting, quarter inch, quarter inch. So this swivel nut will retain your dead man. As I mentioned before, they're brass fittings. Be careful not to over tighten them or cross thread them. So there's your return signal air. That goes on like so. So now I have appropriated this to activate the pot. These must be tight though. Not over tighten them, there's no need to. Appropriate spanners to do the job would be a good idea. Also too, there's nothing wrong with using shifters for this, but it's important to remember this too. That when you do this swivel nut up, it's important to remember, look, the whole thing wants to turn, so just hold that bottom nut, hold it still, and nip the swivel nut up, like so. That way, the olive goes into the seat, it marries, and it's tight. So the only thing that's moving there now is the hose on the end of the hose tail. So what I will do is the pot tender, when the, op when the operator actuates a dead man, I'll just check them for leaks as well to ensure that I've got them. Nothing wrong with the little bit of the squirter bottle with a little bit of detergent and water to ensure that I have a seal there and moisture doesn't escape unnecessarily and undermine the operation of the dead man. So there you go, just nip them up nice and tight. No problems at all. So we've got a nice tight hose arrangement here. Arrange that in a way that it's not in your way and don't trip over it. So if you follow these simple steps on keeping it clean, breather, make sure that all of this actuates properly, you won't have any problems. Don't forget to make it breathe or let it breathe. Now say for example, this one of these hoses didn't work properly. What's the consequence if one of these didn't work and I say that it had a hole in it, had a split in it. When the dead man is opened or operated, the signal can no longer be appreciated by this particular valve. So therefore it becomes confused in its operation. It may not open properly, may not open at all. So how do I find out what's going on? From the dead man handle all the way back up this line, follow this line for any ho for crimps, cuts, abrasions and so forth. When you come back to this particular valve here, That'll tell you whether you've got positive air or not. What do you mean it'll tell me it's got positive air? Well, if the dead man won't activate, and I think to myself, well, how do I find out if this valve's all right? All you need to do is undo this particular feed hose that goes to the auto air valve. And you notice I'm using two spanners so that I can undo the pair of them at once and hold them still. Because if I try and do it, undo it with just one spanner, the whole thing will just spin around. So if I get this other spanner in here and hold that hose fitting, I can undo it. And remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey, to get this undone. Now sometimes when they've got a bit of moisture around them from the rain or the elements, and or the, they've got a bit of grit in amongst the thread, you might find you, you need to undo it all the way with the with the spanners. You can use smaller ones, of course. I just like to be different. So, once I undo this, what am I doing? Well, it's given me the opportunity to see why the dead man's not working. And this is the quickest and easiest way to do it. Because if the dead man's not working, that means I'm not getting signal air. And the signal air needs to come from this particular item. So this pilot valve here is telling, this black box, this pilot valve is telling the whole pot what to do in relation to actuation. 